Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. My name is Steve True. Excel-DashboardTemplates.com is your home of Excel charting techniques, tips, and tricks. So today I'm going to show you how to do a stacked bar chart. As you can see here, uh, we've got our data that uh, a user wanted. Had inactive inventory by month, had active inventory by month, and then also had uh, inactive percentage of the overall inventory. So they wanted this percentage to be on the very top uh, of the column, um, sorry, of the stack bar chart. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that technique here today. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we do this. It's actually kind of a simple technique, which is good, uh, in that we don't have to do a lot of steps to make it look like that. Uh, first, we have our data set up just like uh, this. You could also do it in rows basis as well, or uh, columns. Uh, but what you want to do is you want to highlight all of the range, including the inactive percentage. Uh, as you see here, you want to go up to your insert ribbon. You want to do the column type of chart, and then you want to do a stacked column chart. So I'm going to click on OK, and let me drag that over so you can see that a little closer. Uh, so you can see it's got our uh, overall inactive inventory, our active inventory, and then it's got that percentage of inactive inventory uh, as a percentage of overall inventory. Uh, it's also added it to our legend here. Uh, so we, we want to use this in a way to kind of fool Excel to add our data labels. So what you want to do is first you want to uh, click on the chart, then go up to your layout ribbon. We want to add our data labels, and we'll just go ahead and put them in the center for right now. So you can see it's got our uh, number values for the active inventory and the inactive inventory. It also has our percentage labels as we've already put in the chart. Uh, however, I don't want to show those varying uh, degrees of, uh, of uh, green bars. Uh, what if we're 99% for one of these? You can see the green bars a lot there. It's really deceiving to the eye in that it's adding extra uh, values that we don't want to have as part of our stacked column chart. So what I want to do is I want to select the chart, I'm going to go up to our layout ribbon, and I want to find the data series that is for this inactive percentage of overall inventory. You can read about this in a, another posting that I have on the blog. Uh, it's really best sometimes to go up here to the current selection, uh, and we want to choose the series of inactive percentage of overall inventory, not the data labels, just the actual series itself. You can see it's highlighted that in our data. It's also highlighted those individual series, uh, but uh, it's kind of difficult to do that when you've just got the percentages in there. You can see it's really hard to select that overall, uh, or I'm sorry, the data series. So I'm going to go back up and choose just the data series itself. I'm going to hit uh, Control 1, which is going to bring up my format data series. Uh, we can also do format selection button here on the layout ribbon. What I want to do is I now want to change the fill type to no fill. Uh, I'm going to close that down and you can actually see now on the chart here, it's just got the percentages kind of floating above the stacked column charts. Uh, not quite exactly what I want because you can see 37 here since it's centered is sort of overlapping my uh, column chart. Let's select those labels again and hit control 1. I can also right clicked on them and hit uh, format data, series, data labels. Uh, and we want to change this from center to inside base, uh, and that gives us a little bit more uniform above each uh, specific chart column. Uh, we're pretty close, we just need to clean up a little bit of our chart junk. I'm going to click on the grid lines and hit my delete key, click on the legend once, click on the legend item a second time, hit the delete key. Now you can see uh, we have the exact chart that the customer was looking for. So. Uh, once again, my name is Steve True with Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. Please visit our website and sign up for our RSS feed or our blog so that you're sure to get the latest charting technique in your inbox when they're produced. Thank you and have a great day.